little boat is uh, basically the sink, the, the pieces of metal that you have outside of your boat. Normally, the main sink is located in the transom of the boat. Those sinks, as you can, can see in the picture, are connected internally in the boat with a long piece of metal or with a long piece of wire across the boat, across the, the stringers of the boat. Those piece of metals are connected with all the metallic part of the boats. This is the bonding. The first step to verify if the sinks are connected properly is with the on meter. Basically, the only that you need is verify if you have continuity between the sinks and the metal. If you have continuity, is because the sinks are connected properly. The central bonding conductor is a piece of metal. Normally, is a copper uh, a piece of a copper long piece of copper located on the stringers close to the engines. In both stringers, you have two pieces of copper uh, properly uh, drilled uh, um, in order to tap uh, bolts. Okay, those pieces of metals. Those pieces of metals finish in the transom and at the end those pieces of metals are connected externally with the pieces of zinc. Once again, the negative boost bar of the DC panel and the ground boost bar of the AC panel shall be connected to the bonding conductor and the bonding conductor to the zinc. This is mandatory. This is the main difference between the wiring in your boat and the wiring in your uh, building, in your home. What happened? What happened if my boat, if in my boat, the sinks are eroded each two months and I need to replace the sinks completely each two months. It's probably because internally in the boat you have a leak of current. If you have a leak of current internally in your boat, uh, you need to identify where is located the leak. What is the equipment in the boat that produces the leak of current? This is an electrode. The the cable is too long in order to introduce that silver chlorine electrode in the water the other end of the electrode should should be connected to the negative of the voltmeter voltmeter the negative and the positive the positive of the voltmeter the positive of the voltmeter connected to the bonding in order to verify how much is the reading in millivolts. Ah, what about the ground, the ground cable uh, coming uh, from the AC panel? Okay, the ground cable coming from the AC ground uh, boost bar shall be connected to the bonding conductor. Ah, what about the negative from the negative boost, uh, boost bar on the DC panel? The negative boost bar of the DC panel shall be connected also with the bonding conductor. In this moment, the boat is properly protected. If I have a leak, if one equipment, AC or DC equipment, AC or DC appliance have a leak of current, it's easy to identify where is the leak. What is the procedure? In, in uh, our book of uh, corrosion, I explain the procedure to identify where is the leak of current. In, 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 in the screen, you found it, the values for uh, a boat with a fiberglass hull, or uh, with aluminum hull, or with a steel hull, or with wood hull. This is the properly way to bond it about. And this is the properly bo uh, a way uh, to troubleshoot uh, problems in a boat. The only tool that you need is a good multimeter, uh, the silver chloride uh, electrode, and uh, that's it. Uh, this is uh, the process to, to check the bonding system.